So let's now quantify the magnetic field strength using the Biot-Savart law, which is the magnetic field equivalent to the Coulomb's law for electric fields. The Biot-Savart law basically says that every little segment of wire, which we call DL for a little small segment, with current I, will produce a little magnetic field DB, which is a small little magnetic field. Now this is one nasty little formula, because unlike Coulomb's law, where the cause of the electric field is a simple point charge, the cause of a magnetic field is a tiny line segment of current. So we have both a direction and a moving current, so it makes it much more complicated. As we'll see, you're never going to get a 1 over r squared drop-off, even though it is a 1 over r squared law. Why is that? Because to get the total magnetic field, we have to integrate or add up all the magnetic field contributions of each little tiny line segment over the entire length of wire. And as complicated as it looks, if you can just understand that this equation is used to calculate magnetic intensities, then that's good enough for now. Now let's kind of take an example of a loop of current, which, which we use in PMF devices. That's very appropriate. The Bios of Art law is going to give us an equation telling us the, the magnetic field strength any distance from that loop of current. But it's easiest for simplicity just to take the intensity along the center axis of the loop. That gives us a 1 over 3 halves drop off. And it's dependent on both the radius of the loop and the distance away. Notice this is not a 1 over r squared drop off. This is one of the big lies in the PMF community. So called experts use a 1 over r squared relation to justify needing a high intensity PMF device. They're actually using the wrong equation altogether. A few examples, uh, Marcus Freudelman, which I did a whole video, PMF the really big lie. Um, Dr. Pollock, a very well trusted and respected uh, PMF expert, companies like Curatron, they use this 1 over r squared relation in their books and articles to justify needing high intensity.